All right, so our next design is going to be a dragonfly. You're gonna take your big brush, put a little water in it. We're gonna go with our purple, our violet color, okay? So load your brush really good with violet or purple. If it's too watery, don't forget, just go ahead and tap your napkin. It will absorb all the excess water. And here we go. So what you're going to do is you're going to create, I'm gonna scoot mine over this way. You're gonna create a triangle, an acute triangle. Acute means somewhat thin. Okay, here's my triangle. I'm using purple, but on the screen it looks black. And then I'm gonna do a snow cone circle on the top. Like the letter C, like so. And then I'm gonna color it in. Again, it looks black on the screen, but it is purple. Okay, from here, I'm going to create a wider triangle. So I'm gonna create that here, wide triangle, right there. Thank you, appreciate it. And then I'm going to create my circle on top of that. Like so. And then I'm gonna fill it in. So basic shape, right? If I said, can you do a butterfly or a dragonfly, you'd say, okay. But if I say, can you do a triangle and a semicircle, you'll say yes. And again, if you can write every letter in the alphabet, all the numbers and all, then you can draw. It's just a matter of changing the geometric design of those shapes. All right, wipe your brush on your napkin so your water doesn't get super dirty super quick. Wipe the belly of the brush on the bottom of the cup and swirl your brush on the edges of the cup without touching the bottom. Wipe off the extra moisture water of the brush on the side of the cup and then wipe off. Now we're gonna take a small thin brush and we're gonna load it up with some water and some black. Now on the screen, my top purple is darker than my bottom purple. I did not reload as much, okay, on the second. And I honestly can't remember if I reloaded on the second, but you can always have whatever pigment you're working on, you can always dilute it with water. So more water, lighter color, less water, darker color. Okay, and that's this example here. I'm gonna take my black, and this was my shading, my geometric shape, just like my Spider-Man, and now I'm gonna do my lining. So I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna outline both of the wings by putting a black line around both of the shapes. My circle and my triangle on both of them. Take your time, go slow, listen to the brush. If it doesn't wanna curve, don't force it to curve because then you're gonna get a splatter. Just listen to it, let it go, okay? Now I'm gonna reload my black again. And I'm gonna make the head. So the head is gonna go here, a big C, backward C. I'm gonna make a smaller one, a big C, backward C, smaller one. It's a line of diminishing dots except for it's curved and it's small. And then at the top, I'm gonna do its two little antennae. So I'm gonna curve, and then I'm gonna do another C on the tip. Because sometimes it's hard to do a swirl. So always remember when you're doing circular figures, remember your C's, backward C's, and parentheses. 
From here, I'm gonna fill it in. I did not reload my brush. If you need to add a little bit of water, you can. And there you have it. Had I told you to draw a dragonfly, you might have said, I don't know how, I can't. Well, how, where do I even start? But now you know the basic shape of a dragonfly. A butterfly is the same thing, except you, you smush it all together and you do the same, but on the opposite, opposite side like a mirror image.